Hello and welcome back to more Timber and Stone. Oh yeah. Where we last left off, we uh, made a ton of armor. We made two sets of armor, essentially, for, for, two, for two melee combatants. Uh, one with a glaive, one with, the, uh, with a bronze broadsword. And they both have shields, fully suited up with bronze and iron steel type, uh, type armory. And it's good. So we got a little protection going on there in case we get assaulted by anything from the wilderness, which is uh, always a possibility. So now that we got our defenses up, I'm looking to do some uh, some more uh, some some cozying up around the place. Possibly getting uh, some flax back and some cotton back now that we have a bunch of food. Maybe some wheat. And yeah, so I think that's a good mission for today is to get some some more farming done uh, and also I want to try to finish this crafters corner too. Uh, have the uh, have the carpentry over here done stone masons are already done and maybe even begin on the uh, on the blacksmithing uh, like I guess blacksmithing nook you know maybe today maybe we'll get around to that but uh, but yeah I mean I, I have a I have a habit of of making these episodes super long when I don't mean to I just get <laughs> kind of carried away so you guys have to bear with me I'll try to make these episodes more uh, like 22 minutes or so manageable but yeah so for the farm I believe um, let's see for for the food spots like pumpkins and corn and stuff like that uh, I like to make them five by fives but I think for the luxury resources or so I call them luxury resources we can do like a one by five kind of area so let's see so for flax seeds and the reason why I'm thinking about like one by five strips like this is so we can easily turn them on and off by saying reseed this spot or don't reseed this spot so let's see so I did five here five strips of that and you guys will see what I mean in a bit uh, not dig mine farm alright here we go so we got some flax going let's do let's do cotton seeds over here so we'll do one by five strips going this way and then once we have all these strips, I feel like it's going to be easier to manage what we're growing and how, by how much. Instead of saying a whole 5x5 five five to, to farm, uh, we can just say a little strip to farm or not to farm. Or to recede and not to recede. To recede or not to recede, that is the question. So we get some wheat seeds here. Oh yeah. Now wheat, I really have no, no reason for wheat right now. I don't intend to, um, to do much which what do you call it hurting I don't have any of that kind of stuff planned right now but because we have other bigger fish to fry but I'm gonna say for the first few rows of here I'm gonna say do not recede let's say like the first three so these three strips they will not be seeded and these two will be seeded so that's good and as for cotton let's say we just need three strips for now so we'll have one two three and for the flex, let's say all of these can be uh, seeding for now. Oh, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Hey, 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 hey. I just said don't recede. What's he doing? Is he doing what I think he's... He's seeding that. Look at that guy. Maybe he's just kind of getting the land ready, but he's not going to seed it. Uh, which is fine. So, yeah, so he's got the land ready, but uh, farmers will not recede. So, yeah, I think, I think he's got it now. So, yeah, well, three strips here, five strips there, two there. And hopefully they'll still uh, be producing enough food in the meantime. I mean, if I see our food drop down considerably, then I'm going to take all this back and, and just try to balance it out. But really, I'm looking to get another farmer with the next migrant that comes, hopefully. We'll get another farmer. Uh, oh, and what are you doing outside the city walls, bro Huff? Here. Whatever made you... Oh, is he going to walk over the wall? Because if he does, we got a problem. No, he's going to walk all the way around. Okay. I guess I guess this was the closest tree, so he's like, oh, instead of going to this tree, I'm gonna walk all the way around, and he's gonna go there. Oh, we get a boar here, nice. So yeah, so we got that for the farming. Oh, good, farmers are already starting with that kind of stuff. Cool. Oh, and this just finished here. Okay, so let's see what else we can design here with this building. I love my cobblestone because it's so happy and colorful and bright. Gotta love that cobblestone. So, how are we going to do this? we got to make sure people can still access the wall to walk around and build. But they can. they got to step there. They can walk here, build here. That's a little bit of a pain in this game. You have to kind of micromanage ooh, the height of things. Oops, I don't want to build there. So, let's take a, a different camera look at this. Let's make sure it's level. So, probably one more up. So, we'll do another cobblestone layer here. One more here kind of like that 
Yeah, something like that. Build, let's build another. I think I'm going to build this, let them build this as they go. If you build too much at once, then they will, uh, they will tend to get stuck. They'll tend to get stuck in stuff. And you don't want them to get stuck in stuff, so... So yeah, there we go. So I'll let them continue that. See, we got some stone here, so it's not totally perfect. We got some messing around there. Uh, I'll put some carpentry benches there. Farmers are starting on that. Chopping back in the city. And, okay, let's see, uh... Let's take a quick look at the map, see if we got any enemies here. I've been saying I'm going to check the map for enemies. I haven't done that in a while, so... So let's see. Let's see what we got floating around here. Oh, we got a sheep. That's nice. So, let's see. Is this just going to be peaceful times all around, or what? Okay, so we got miners, safe. It's funny, because this game is... This game is supposed to be extremely difficult. But I think we're just getting lucky right now. I mean, I've cleared the corpses off the map. And we are getting traders and new migrants here and there. Actually, we only got the uh, Laura Worm Slayer. But yeah, look at this, guys. It's pretty much clear. I'm not seeing anything on the map here. Not even a single spider. Unless my eyes deceive me. But I'm not seeing anything. It's just like peaceful times. Peaceful times is what we got right now. So we're going to take advantage of these peaceful times. And we're going to build it up as big as we can. Before we start <laughs> becoming under siege. Because, uh, yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be tough times. When we're surrounded and fighting for our lives. And people are all injured. And uh, we should probably get some beds for those times too. Because people heal up faster in cotton beds than just sitting or, or working around. So that might be a good next priority. Is to have like maybe some beds around this uh, militia area here that I'm gonna build up into like you know like a military training camp archery range this whole area over here so I guess uh, we do have a good amount of cotton no cloth uh, no rope but we, we can we can make some rope and cotton so I'm gonna take a look at our options and I'll get back with you guys okay so I've actually found a spider on the map here uh, and I just got uh, since we have plenty of wood and plenty of stone I got Annabelle and Brohoof on patrol <laughs> to kill a lone spider maybe this spider is the one that's responsible for us to uh for us not getting any spawns lately because i'm 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 itching for some action so here we go so i got i got annabelle kick you our level four oh level five infantry i got her with the glaive uh bro hoof i've got him with the uh let's see here yeah level seven he's gonna be our main uh melee guy he's gonna have the uh Bronze Curus and the... What do you call it? I guess Bronze Broadsword. There we go. Get your stuff. And they both have bucklers. So there he is. Where'd she go? Oh, she's over here waiting. Waiting for orders. I love it. Look at them. Look at these guys. They're just waiting here, sitting, ready to go. So we're going to go on a little fun patrol here. What's she up to? Build her. Oh, nothing to build. Hang on a sec. We'll deal with that later. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have these guys on patrol. Uh, and let's let's do that now. Let's get them moving in that direction at least. So resources, not resources. Uh, let's see. Let's set their options to go to patrol route. Not a patrol route. Guard position. I have one guard position where that spider is. So this is actually an easy way to uh, to get them both to move at the same time to the guard position. I believe, unless they just don't notice it. But they should go to the guard position. Let's see. Yeah, guarding point. So where I have this point at... Oh, is he not going? Hmm... Because so I have one guard position over here. Maybe each guard position is only for one person? Is that how it works? Oh, look at that. Wandering. Yeah, because it would be cool to get them both to go. Hang on, let me figure this out real quick. Okay, so it turns out that you need a guard position for each person you want to be uh, guarding at that position. Because, uh... So that's, that's the way it works. So I made two positions by the spider. I have them both walking over to it. Yeah, so there's the one lone spider that might be the reason why we're not getting any enemy spawns. It might be his, uh, his fault. Maybe it's some kind of glitch or something. So we're going to go take care of this with absolute brute force. So we have our two warriors here. Oh, uh, this is awesome. Fully armored. You got wooden bucklers, bronze, and steel. We got bronze, wooden buckler, bronze, bronze, bronze. Oh, I love it. Look at them go. Look at these guys go. Ah. So they are they are on the move to do some serious chopping over there. And I guess the game will pause once they get there. In the meantime, we've got uh, Glenda Poppins. She's being our tailor. 
I signed her about 20 or so pieces of rope and she's making them. Ooh, look at that. So yeah, I got her making rope out of animal hairs, out of flax fibers. Ooh, looks like we just got some flax somehow. Uh, spider silk, not leather obviously, but yeah, so we're getting a ton of rope because in order to make a loom for us to make cloth, because we need a loom for cloth as you see here, and uh, in order to make a loom, I believe we need four rope at least. And and rope is, is a pretty, yeah, rope, raw stone, wooden logs, yeah. So since this is a rope is important, I might go ahead and put the loom here, make this the tailor shop right here. Because I don't want to have to move it, because every time you, you remove uh, a workstation, you lose all the resources you, you it took to make it. So I might make this the loom shop. This will be the stonemason shop. Maybe I'll do carpentry next door of the loom shop. We'll see. I mean, carpentry is not really that important right now. Uh, and then, yeah, so we'll go from there. So so that's good. So we'll get some cloth crafting up after we get some rope crafting up. And then we'll make some lamp posts for sure because we have tons of iron and tons of, uh, of animal fat. So we're going to have a nice, nicely lit city, hopefully, by the end of this episode. Nicely lit, nicely trained. Oh, we got our... Oh, and looks like he walks faster because he is less encumbered than she is. Ah, so it makes that big of a difference. Look at that. Yeah, see, so weight really does have a factor. And he has a piece of food with him because he's a fatty. Yeah, he's an overeater. That's kind of funny. I wonder if that's... Oh, they're both overeaters. Clumsy and disloyal. Great warrior traits. Okay. So let's try to get them both attack this guy together here. Oh, spider sees him. So let's see if we can have them both jointly attack. Uh, looks like she's gonna get first uh, first hit on it. <laughs> well, obviously didn't have a chance. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these positions here because they're not needed. Remove, remove. Oh, looks like you need to sign other things too. That's cool. All oh, right, so now where are they going? They're going to eat, are they? Oh, going back to the town hall. That is so cool. That is so cool. I like to have them as idle though. I think it's easier to have them uh, just to micromanage them than to have them walk to a guard position because that was pretty pain in the butt. So. So that's cool. So they killed the spider. Mission complete. I'm just going to go ahead and say dispose of that. <laughs> because we really don't need the silk now. Now that we have some flax going. Good food supply. 365 food. Yeah, we good. So I guess Brohoof. I'll set him to... I'll set her back to stone masonry. And I'll set him back to wood chopping. But I don't want him wood chopping here. I want him wood chopping over in this area. Within the city walls. So there he goes. He's going to be chopping there. She's obviously going to be smithing there. And that is cool. Wow. Crazy. And look at these farms. Look at them. They're already... Let's get rid of this. Wow, uh, oh, they're already tilled. So I see. So they till everything. And then they just plant the seeds where I told them to plant seeds. Which is cool. Oh, but it looks like our pumpkins are being neglected a little. So hopefully our food doesn't drop too much. And... Oh, the tailor made all the stuff. Okay, cool. Let's have her make a loom while she's a tailor girl. So, workshops. Loom. So we'll start making some cloth. Boop, boop, boop. Lower the level here a bit. So let's see here. Ooh, not that low. So I guess we'll put the loom over here. Something like that. And I guess we'll put some supply crates around. Who builds a loom anyway? Taylor. Okay, cool. So she'll build that loom. And let's get our... Whew, so many things going on. Let's get our Cobblestone 2 production going up here. Because I made Cobblestone 2 the roof, so they got to build more of that. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Whew. Progress. Let's get some logs on the fire there. Boom. Yeah. That's right. Don't neglect those pumpkins, Mr. Uh, Mr. Juice. Don't neglect them. Yeah, that wheat's fine, but there you go. So I guess they planted. Whoa. I hear fire. Oh, yeah, because I just lit a fire. <laughs> I thought we were being uh, attacked. Oh. oh, I thought we were being attacked. But we're not. Okay, well, looks like people are going to start falling asleep soon. Because it's dusk, almost late night. And uh, I guess you get the gist of what's going on here. So I'll cut back later, guys. And we are back with a trader en route to our town. I've been a busy boy through the night. I went ahead and assigned a bunch of roads here. All throughout, the, all throughout the province. Let's see. So let's bring up the map height here. So we used to just have this road over here and that road. And I thought, 
let's double our chances of getting migrants and uh, traders. So I went ahead over the night and just kind of extended these roads to hit all map edges. And I think this will make a difference. So we got an edge here, and we got an edge over here. So we've got this map covered since it's peaceful times. I figure, why not, you know? Like, no one's going to get attacked, right? I'm just kind of egging on the game right now. But yeah, we're not going to get attacked, so we can have roads everywhere without guard towers, without infantry men guarding the roads, because these are uh, it's a peaceful place right now. Uh, Chicklandia is not necessarily a, a land of warriors. We're a land of uh, warriors getting fat. So let's see. So we have... What do we have here? So we have uh, made a lot of progress here on this loom building. What do we have here? Let's bring down the map a little bit. Yeah, see? So we got we got like a weapons chest in here. We've got... Oh, I see this furniture up here is kind of blocking stuff. But yeah, we've got weapons chest. we got the loom. we got a resource crate. All this good stuff. Some chairs, some tools, some weapon rack in there. So I don't know if... I don't think tailors can make weapons, but... But at least they'll have, uh, you know, kind of kind of fills the theme. And we got like a little chair here. So, you know, I'm kind of making each of these buildings here uh, as defensible locations for archers. Kind of like lookout points in addition to, uh, you know, multi-purpose, I guess you can kind of call it. So so that's, that's real handy right here. I might make like a little cobblestone path going this way eventually. But, uh, but yeah, so we got that completed. Builders are just chilling. We need someone to be a trader now since we have uh, a trader coming to our to our humble place, our humble town. Let's see. So who was our trader last time? I forget. Oh, it seems like Annabelle was our trader. Go do it up, girl. And how are we on ores and things? Okay, Glenda can be our carpenter again because I have... She needs to make a tool chest down below in the mines, which I'll show later. Uh, Wildstar, what is she going to be up to? She's eating now. I guess she can be a... Hmm... She could be a trader too, but we already have a trader. I guess she can go to mining? Uh, let's see, stonemason? I believe, uh, let's, let's keep her on builder. And we'll assign some more building going on here in a bit. But, uh, okay, we got a trader here, builder. Let's, uh, let me do some building and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so I've went ahead and assigned some, uh, some digging here for maybe a road. Uh, we'll get like a, like a little city street going here to our little crafter's corner. And let's see, we just got our trader in town here. Uh, I got our miner girls all coming up from down there to help us dig this stuff out and get the, uh, the terraforming that we need to be done. Bro Hoof is chopping some trees because we need some wood. We've been doing a lot of furniture stuff. Spider silk for wood logs. Uh, I don't want it, but whatever. I feel like the more we accept, the more trades we get. All right. Look at all this crops coming along here. Look at all this cotton and flax and stuff. Wow. This is insane. And we still have tons of food, so this is great. We might not even need to add another farmer for a while. <laughs> seven dirt for seven wooden logs. Uh, I really don't want this. I don't want it. Is he going to go away? This is a good test. So a merchant, five trader, six miner. So that's cool. So we got... Where are these girls? Okay, so we got some people here digging stuff out. Pretty much just moved them all up here. So we'll get this road cut out pretty quick. Get some cobble over that. Because I loves the cobble. Alright. Chopping some trees. That's good. And trading. Oh, she must be like overloaded. Yeah, she's overloaded. So we're in a bit of a transition stage here, guys. We're uh, still got some multitasker people. Could use a few more migrants. But hopefully that's going to come about. See, we got Glenda popping stonemasoning while everyone else is oh, trying to terraform. So... Could always use some more people, but we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. So, and not to forget, we also got to do some tailoring too. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, I feel like we're going to get some migrants pretty soon because we have such a surplus of food, you know? I just feel like they're going to be crawling in anytime. See, oh, now the trader left because we probably declined to trade with them. So that's sad. All right. Well, let's see. I'll get her back to stone masonry. Annabelle kick ya or maybe I put her on mining yeah put her on mining we'll have five miners going about right now we're just going crazy <laughs> everyone's just gonna go ahead and dig this out priority number one yes see you later and you sir can just chop some wood out here I feel like it's safe enough also when people walk on roads they move faster go figure all right so we chop some trees out here Everyone's mining away, hammering, hammering. 
cool. I don't know if I showed you this guys before in the last clip, but uh, yeah, we got our our loom and stuff ready. So we'll be we'll be hitting this hard as soon as we uh, as soon as we're done making a, a few crafting arrangements here and just kind of I want to want to dig this area out a little bit just so we can start our blacksmithing corner too and get this kind of all situated and, and going about like right where this road leads I'm gonna maybe dig out a little area and have like a nook for blacksmithing which will be so cool it's gonna be real pretty so all right so I'll let these girls go at it and voila we are back and we have a road and we have our little blacksmithers corner here oh look at this how it's coming along looks so sweet loving it yes yeah, so I've obviously obviously been having a good amount of fun here off camera guys uh, just kind of getting all artsy with it having some miners dig it out I've got I've got both uh, both Laura uh, worm slayer and um, an Ophi back down below doing their regular mining uh, work but uh, but this has been fun it's been a fun little project for me today um, let's see, I guess I'll get Glenda back on uh, building too. Let's get this finished up here before we end the episode. Builder, there you go. Go ahead and help out, what's that, Melody? Yeah, go ahead and help out Melody. Finish the rest of this blacksmithing shop up. And I, have, I put the carpentry bench here too, just because I feel like it kind of looks like it could be a blacksmithing bench or something that could be used in conjunction with everything that's going on here. I feel it's cool. The blacksmither can smith it all up. Uh, put the armor and weapons back here get resources uh, for ingots and stuff like that and whatever we have everything we need here except for food but this is kind of like the little mini dining area so I feel like it's a dining area for everyone to meet at lunchtime hang out whatever and <laughs> you know you gotta have a little story with it so crafters corner is pretty much complete for now at least it's as complete as it's gonna be for a while I think the next task that we will do for next episode is start to develop the miners area, the miners quarters. Uh, because down below we've been making a lot of progress. I haven't been touching on this, but there is a lot of progress made here. Uh, dug this all around. Got a nice little sweeping angle. Got a little toolbox, little miners area here. Oh, some gold. Look at that. So I think we will build some cobblestone around here. Uh, maybe, maybe. Oh yeah, we could definitely make some beds because now we're getting our our, uh, our cotton. And, uh, and some some flax in here and whatever else that we need for beds and we have uh, finally finished our loom and tailoring area so this is gonna be good so next episode we'll go ahead and flesh this bottom part out make a miners quarters and have some beds start cranking out some beds making everyone comfortable sleeping less because when you sleep in a bed you require less hours of sleep in this game so more productivity which is good We'll be really, we'll be really cranking out next episode, and I can't wait. I'm so excited. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.